hot springs business that's been there for more than 30 years, struck by lightning and then burned to the ground. And krk 4s Caitlin Reardon is live on the scene right now. And Caitlin, you spoke with the owner. How are they today? Well, Bob and Ashley, this used to be McLean Custom Cabinets. I'm going to step out of the way, take a look. It's obviously been reduced to the ground in parts of it, and you can see charred remains of equipment there. The owner says that it's actually a total loss. Now, he said he wasn't in town last night when the lightning struck the building, then it caught fire. And actually, just a few months ago, the owner says a friend of his who lives in Garland County, their house got struck by lightning and caught fire as well, burned down just like this. Um, in this case, last night, for the cabinet shop, firefighters were here into the middle of the night working to put that out. We know that at least four of them had to be treated for heat exhaustion. Owner Robbie McLean, though, he tells me that he's always been very diligent about shutting the business down correctly. We worry about fire. I come here every single night before I go to bed, make sure everything's shut off, drive through the parking lot, make sure, you know, this parking lot will burn. It's got sawdust in it. And, uh, you know, lightning gets it, so... It's not going to be much after this. Um, the owner says that obviously since they can't be working out of this shop anymore, they do want to get back to work as quickly as possible. They've rented two other buildings, and they do expect to be back to work by as early as Tuesday of next week. Reporting live in Hot Springs tonight, I'm Caitlin Reardon. Back to you.